This is the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Edge. Since June of 2024, this laptop has been my daily driver, and welcome to my one year and a month or so later review of the Galaxy Book 4 Edge. A review from an actual user. So, here I have the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Edge. A laptop I bought last year. And, as I also mentioned before, this is my daily driver. Now, for those who don't know, um, the Galaxy Book 4 Edge is a Windows on ARM laptop. Which means that there are some applications and uh, other stuff, like old printers, that might not work as intended. Not a huge problem for me, though. But this leads me into what doesn't work. In my world, this is a surprisingly short list. As I said before, this is a Windows on ARM laptop, not an Intel or AMD laptop. And if you don't know the difference uh, between the, these types of CPUs, there are a ton of videos on YouTube that you can watch. Every application that is not ARM native has to run through an emulator, which impact the performance. With that said, there are surprisingly little that does not work. As we, as in I, speak, there really are no applications that I use on a daily basis that don't work. Video editing is the most intensive task I do with this laptop. And, well, I've switched back to CapCut after the last bug was uh, fixed. I don't play any demanding games on the Galaxy Book 4 Edge. So I can't say if these works or not. My guess is they don't work. This is not a gaming laptop after all. And there are, as far as I know, not that many ARM native games on Windows. One thing though I have seen is that the Samsung's own applications, like Device Care, looks different between the ARM version and the Intel version. A bit strange, one might think, but it is what it is. The list of what do work in the world of ARM is pretty long. The things that 99.99 ish percent of uh, every computer user do, checking the web and email from time to time, works flawlessly. Most browsers run natively on ARM. I use Edge most of the time along with Firefox and sometimes Chrome. And I use the free version of Outlook for uh, my email work. When I sit and write scripts for my videos, I like to use Obsidian. Obsidian also runs natively on ARM. Uh, Upnote, another note-taking app that I really like, runs in AX86 mode. But it works just as well as on my Intel laptop. What else? Um, well, if you like to edit photos, then you, you can use the Adobe Photoshop or perhaps um, Affinity Photo. Both runs natively on ARM. Same with Adobe Lightroom, but not uh, Lightroom Classic. Uh, not yet, anyway. Sometimes I use the Microsoft Photo for some AI stuff. When I, for instance, want to scale up an image. I've already touched the subject of video editing. DaVinci Resolve and uh, CapCut runs natively on ARM. Same with the ClipChamp um, and Samsung Studio, if you're looking for some more simpler uh, video editors. But why use a Windows on ARM laptop? For the daily usage of most tasks, um, like checking email and browsing the web. An ARM laptop is more effective and has better uh, battery life, and is above all uh, quieter and cooler. One thing 
I really like with the Galaxy Book for Edge is the more or less uh, instant wake up when I open the lid. On my older laptops, uh, and with uh, older I mean much older, it usually took around, well let's say somewhere between 15 to 20 seconds before I could log on and start work. I usually don't work for 10 hours straight with no pauses. So when I don't use the laptop, I just close the lid and uh, opens it up um, when I need to do something. Usually without any major battery drainage since the standby time is really amazing. But as always, um, what works for me doesn't always work for you. I can only say that I really like the Samsung Galaxy Book for Edge. It has held up uh, really well and everything I need it to do, it do. And it do it really good. And yes, if Samsung releases a new Book Edge somewhere in the near future, I will check that out and perhaps buy it. Depending on the price, of course. Until next time, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And have a lovely day. Bye!